It's how, it's how you direct planes again to come and land. Oh, you, right. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, Bye. right, right. <laughs> Woo, oh my gosh. Guys, I don't know if you just saw that a while ago, but we were like, you know, on a drone TV inside here. Hello, we just added this drone into our fleet of cameras here for Weekend Smell. We even have our own pilot in house with us this morning. So in studio, we have Debian Green, general manager of IGT, Coyote McGaw, senior projects manager at MGI and drone specialist or pilot. No, I, I'm, I'm going to adopt, you know. Like you're a part of the Smile team. Hello, Darren. Of course. How are you, Mr. Darren Fletcher? <laughs> They're here to talk about their collaborative effort, the IGT Coding and Robotics Rock Camp. Now, the camp is designed to spark innovation and creativity in students who have not had that kind of access and kind of opportunities. And I'm so happy to be interviewing you all this morning. Welcome to Weekend Smile. Thank you. Nice. Thank you for having us. Congratulations <laughs> on this amazing effort. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, I mean, Debs, let's start with you here. Just tell me about how it all came together. Okay. Um, how do you guys even know each other? Okay. So, IGT is a global leader in gaming. In Jamaica, we have an uh, arrangement with Supreme Ventures. I think most people know Supreme Ventures, where we provide a technological infrastructure and a suite of services to run the lottery. So, obviously, we're big in technology. Part of our philanthropic initiatives is the After School Advantage program which we provide that access to technology for students who don't necessarily have that access either at school or at home. So we have about 15 centers in Jamaica that does that. When COVID hit, we needed to find a way to engage the students. So we said, all right, we're gonna have a remote session because we can't be there physically. So we thought about what could we do that was relevant for today. So STEM education mm -hmm. was very much in the focus and we decided that that was the route to go, focusing on technology. So Procom, who is our PR company, worked along with IGT to conceptualize a program and then our lovely partners at MGI came on board to help us to build out the curriculum, the lesson plan, to make it a very structured academic program for the students of the centers that we operate in. Wow, incredible. Uh, Kaori, you have to give me the information here about MGI, what is it? Okay, so MGI is a geospatial company. We basically use geospatial data and build geospatial systems in order to make decision making. So, you know, anything you want, we can map it. Um, if you want to know road traffic crashes, where they're occurring, where they're hotspots, we can map it and give you answers. If you want to know where COVID cases are popping up, we can map that and give you clusters and hotspot information. So we're all about using data, using technology to make more informed decisions. Yeah, and the technology was right here on display because that's where Darren comes yep. in, right, Darren? Right? Of course. <laughs> Drone operator extraordinaire. Um, you're with MGI as well, Darren, right? Yeah, I've been here for, wow, two years. Feels like, feels like 10, but yeah. <laughs> I've been flying drones. Uh, yeah, I'm the chief pilot at MGI. At MGI, we do a lot, lots and lots of drone work. Uh, means that I'm out in the field all yeah. the time, most of the time. Beauty of it, I go to many, many different places and I get to fly my drones all around the place. Yeah, uh, yeah. That's great. Amazing. It sounds exciting, right? And he sounds excited. <laughs> I mean, Deb, this is amazing because right now we want our students in Jamaica to not be behind. Right. The world is moving. AI is now here. It's not coming. It is here. It is here. So we're very happy to be having this in Jamaica. How are the students selected? So we have centers across the Caribbean. In Jamaica, I said we have 15. Across the English-speaking Caribbean, we have 40. So it just depends on what's happening in each center because different students have different things going on. So the center managers select the students from each center that become a part of the program. Yeah, yeah. And Cody, I mean, for some persons, they may think that our children are not able to understand, uh, you know, the complications and the complexities of robotics and coding, mm -hmm. but that's not true. No, I'd say they're, they're smarter than most of the adults and they pick it up extremely fast and it's so amazing each year to see how excited they are about the camps, how much they enjoy it. They always comment how fun it is, so they are very engaged and they're, they're way ahead of their time. So yeah. They're really advanced. When we're looking at the age bracket, what are we looking at in terms of age range for the kids? We actually do quite a wide age range because we're working with the ASA centers and they have a wide age range as well. So it's between 11 to 18, 18. years old. Yeah, yeah. And Deb, when you do a con an event like this, a camp like this, what is the, the objective? You know, yes, our kids will know, be introduced to coding, they'll be introduced to robotics, but right. really what's the major objective here? So uh, in addition to giving the, the, stu the students further education around technology, because with the centers, we, we put in infrastructure, the laptops, the printers, etc. 
but our relationship extends outside of the center. So we have different outreach programs to just expose them further to technology. So for the, co for the camp this year, the theme is Think It, Code It, Solve It. So we're saying to the kids, there are sustainability goals being spoken about, the United Nations Sustainability Goals, 17 of them. Mm. And we're saying, you can do this. You can help the world, help your country solve problems. Yeah. What are the social ills of your community, of your country, that you can apply technology to, to, to make a difference? So the focus is for them to think critically, to think innovatively, to figure out problems, problem solving. So I'm, it's all of that involved. I'm very happy you mentioned, you know, just thinking in an innovative way yeah. because we are consumers. We know that we have been consumers and our kids, Darren, you'll agree with me. I mean, we cons they, they consume a lot in terms of technology, right? right. Um, you see the drones and everybody's now asking mommy and daddy to please buy me a drone yeah. from Amazon because <laughs> I just want to fly it all about the place. But, but talk to us about being very purposeful with uh, something like drone education and really, you know, innovating something that will solve a problem I mean if you, you can look at it, you can look at it this way technology was made to really advance our you know society drone technology has been a thing for like past maybe 10 20 years the steps that we've made so far just going on in society drone technology is being used in so many different sectors you know from agriculture you know it's even delivery imagine like you know you order pizza online and it you know, you hear a drone over your house and your pizza is here. Within minutes, no Within traffic. Within minutes, exactly, <laughs> like no traffic. So drones just make life a lot easier, make everything, like any task, just more efficient and just more effective, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And do you also tell them about the responsibility about having a technology like this as well? Of course. Yeah. You know, having such high tech comes with, you know, responsibilities and, you know, if you don't use it properly, then there are consequences, you know? Of course, with things like this, you know, you may lose a finger, you know, <laughs> or you may crash into somebody yeah. or, you know, break. But also respecting people's privacy as well. As well, yeah. 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 So yeah. we do stress a lot, you know, because yeah. we do training at MGI. So, you know, all of my students, I do stress, you know, what you should and shouldn't do. With Absolutely. Your yeah. All right. So, Debs, give me the information about the camp. How can families now sign up? Um, you're watching this morning and they want to get their young ones into this camp. So it's not as widespread as that. So gotcha. the camp is not yet. The camp is really open to the students of our centers that we partner right, with. Right. You did say that. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, and we select them from those camps. It started on July 17th, which was Monday. Mm -hmm. It will run for two weeks to July 28th. And during that time, both the level one and level two um, programs will be held simultaneous because we started with simultaneously we started with level one in 2021 and we've added so we continue to grow the program so when you speak about possibility of drones <laughs> yes. being added to the curriculum maybe because this year we've added artificial intelligence so level one they get basic computer training programming Web, de web development mm -hmm. and robotics, and we've now added artificial intelligence. All right, quickly, uh, Kaoli, tell me, uh, it's a, so outside of the camp, could I come to UTEC and say, boy, you know, I need to learn some coding, I need to learn some robotics, could I just come and just be like, teach me? To MGI? Well, yeah. the main training that we do now is GIS training, so geographic information systems training and GIS analysis, and we do drone training, and it's for all ages, not, not just, you know, for kids, we actually get quite a lot of students from a lot of different industries and fields of all ages. So um, those are the main trainings we offer, not coding and robotics otherwise, but yeah. um, we're ready for you when you're ready to fly your drones. I love that. Congratulations to everybody. Really, really, really good stuff. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Learned a lot, guys. Please get your young ones started mm -hmm. early because there is so much to learn in this area of coding and robotics. IGT Coding and Robotics Rock Camp. Thank you so much to all our guests for joining us this morning. Debbie and Green, uh, General Manager uh, for IGT Jamaica. Kayodi Magaw and also MGI Senior Projects Manager. That's her role there. And Darren Fletcher, Technical Project Coordinator and Drone Specialist and the newest addition to Smile Jamaica's team. Yeah, he's going to be flying around. <laughs>